perhaps my favorite example of a successful transformation, actually, which I use in China, because China has a lot of so-called state-owned enterprises who are in a state that needs to do transformation. So I say, well, you know, the British succeeded in transforming one particular state-owned enterprise that was really bad before. A any guesses? Of course, we have many to choose from. Um, <laughs> transformation of British Airways. State-owned until 1982. What did BA stand for? Bloody awful. Bloody awful. So, of course, um, as an example of this, one of the rules for flight attendants in their handbook said this. As you walk down the aisle, do not catch the eye of a passenger. <laughs> Otherwise, they will just ask you for something. <laughs> so, privatization, they're bringing in a new CEO, Colin Marshall, from a, Br a British guy, but who'd run Avis, which was famous for we're number two, we try harder. By the way, Avis has been trying harder for 30 years. Where are they now? Three. They're number three. So <laughs> they should have tried. They should have tried different, but that, that's, a, that, that's another story, okay? So trying harder is uh, often uh, not enough. So one of the first things he does, he comes up with a new advertising campaign and a new slogan. What was the new tagline? British Airways, the world's favorite airline. The customers and the employees said, you must be joking. <laughs> but of course, he raised the bar that the customers expected the airline to live up to, and even more important, that the staff had to live up to.